One of the main questions I often get is, hey Cub, why do you talk about the Bible so much? Or, hey Cub, why are you not a believer anymore? And to answer these questions, let me give you a little bit of background that I think might actually help you on your journey. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a prophet. I'm not some sort of high, holy, spiritual teacher. I'm just a guy who decided to get really, really real about my deconstruction, my faith journey, and ultimately get really passionate about the supernatural questions that I had. So like many of you, I was raised under the religiosity, aka churchianity movement of the 1990s and 2000s, to the point where I was actually homeschooled, and even my math book had literal Bible verses in it. Now, I was not upset about this whatsoever. I got plenty of time with friends and opportunities to do stuff that were outside of the small homeschool clique I was a part of. But I always had a very different view of the world than everyone, including the group of homeschoolers I was a part of, as well as all of the what we called secular friends. Talk about dividing people, I mean, come on. And that view I had of the world was a largely mystical view. I never understood why everybody couldn't have it the way they wanted it. I never understood why it had to be this or that, why it couldn't be and. I also held in my ideas and my heart and even my experiences the idea of supernatural beings, even extraterrestrial entities and their possible intervention or their events that caused things like the Bible to be written. Flash forward to 2020 when I started to ask myself the very real question, what if I'm worshiping an actual alien? Like an actual extraterrestrial being that's not necessarily the most high over everything, but maybe has been given dominion over the realm that we live in. And what if that entity called itself God and everyone worshiped it as God? And what if it went as far as that entity is actually what we consider Satan or the accuser? And then I started reading all of the actual Bible verses that literally accuse us of our sins all the time. And then I started asking, wait, is this God that I was raised to worship actually the accuser? Because it never made sense to me why he would have to send his son in my place if he loved me. And then that God started to look a whole lot more like the accuser to me. I then started to view Christ rather than Savior as illuminator of this absolutely wild reality we live in. Let me know what you think.